It has been six years now since St. Patrick's Day actually fell on a Saturday. And in that time, the dying of the Chicago River has been celebrated. It's been improved as well. And this year, it's going to be bigger than ever as the mighty river attracts visitors by the thousands for a city tradition beloved the world over. How to turn this into the emerald shade that signals spring in Chicago is the work of the Chicago Plumbers Union Local 130. The organizers of one of Chicago's biggest parades today showcased their proprietary dye to turn the Chicago River green. I don't think you have to be Irish to enjoy this day. This will mark the 55th year the plumbers have taken to the river, this time in three boats, two with a secret sauce and a chaser vessel to mix it up, all to herald the day of the patron saint of Ireland. The river will turn green from Columbus west to State Street, an extension of a block from past years that the city sought to enhance viewership from the Chicago Riverwalk. I got four bands coming from Florida. We got bands coming from Pennsylvania, Ohio, Kansas, uh, Georgia. I mean, what, that speaks volumes in itself that these people want to come to Chicago in March. The dye is essentially food coloring concocted by the plumbers years ago to help trace leaks in buildings. Mary-Kate Mannion, this year is St. Patrick's Day Queen, as crowned by the Union, says the display is all about enhancing traditions. It's just getting all together and having a good time and, and celebrating what, you know, Irish has done for the city of Chicago. And as the Union's head of training demonstrates how the mixed water will be spouting off shoreline tourist boats that will ply the water as it changes, the Queen reflects. I feel like the Irish have a lot more traditions that stand out. Um, in people's eyes, you know, St. Patrick's Day is just such a big day. And, or, and I know even for the whole month of March as well that people look forward to that day. I sure do. And uh, you can watch the parade here on ABC7. The die will stay in the river for 24 to 48 hours. Shoreline tourist boats start loading th for the event at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. The dying itself begins at 9. And as we say, the parade is right here on ABC7 Saturday noon. Larry's going to be one of the hosts. It's right here. And also you can watch it on our digital channel 7.2. It also, it's going to be streamed live on our website and our news app and available on demand on our website after the conclusion of the parade. It's going to be a big weekend. Mm -hmm.